we go. Hey, you guys, if you can see my front screen here, it says smart way. Maybe we should go back here. Just one sec. All right, let me know if you can see me, hear me. That would be fantastic <laughs> so, so that we can get started here. Um, you guys, my name is Jesse. I'm with Decker Truckline. If you are new to our Q&A, which is every Tuesday at noon at Central, then welcome. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as click on the bell so that you'll be notified every time that we go live in case you have any questions for me. Um, want to know any of the upcoming events, any new games that we have, which we do have some coming on right now. And then as well um, as some of the new opportunities that we might have uh, here within Decker Truck Lines for driving opportunities. Perfect. Tanya's on. She can hear and see me. So we are rolling. Awesome. Hi, Jose. You can see and hear me. Fantastic. Fantastic. We'll get to um, some of the different job opportunities here later on. Um, but we have a ton to go through. So a couple of the things that I do want to let you know, just as a run through of what we'll go over today is we're gonna talk about Smart Drive. Now, um, or excuse me, not Smart Drive. <laughs> I always say a Smart Way, let's, let's go again. So we're gonna talk about Smart Way and what that entails. And if you guys aren't familiar with that, hey, Mudflap, good to see ya. Or hear ya, see you? Um, so the smart way, what it's all about is um, really reducing the uh, number or the amount of emissions. And again, we'll go into detail here in a little bit, but more of um, just reducing a lot of the emissions and saving a lot in fuel too. And what it can do for everybody, not just within the trucking industry or not just for those of us uh, carriers. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Hey, Amy. Oh. I doctor today. We'll be careful on the roads. They should be good. Everything should be good as of right now. We've got sunshine and everything. At least that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> so I hope you do too. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about the SmartWay system. We'll talk about our referral bonus, which just as a recap, every quarter we do a drawing for our referral bonus uh, for all of you who have, yes, smart way, thank you. <laughs> for all of you who have um, participated in our referral program, We'll go just a recap of what that all entails, what you can win, and um, and then of course the drawing is over and above uh, the normal or the basic um, referral program. So we'll go through some of those details as well. Uh, we've got a contest that's going on right now. We started it last week and it's with a tarping tool, so I'll go into detail on that. Uh, we'll let you know of some of our winners for our Stayometrics and what Stayometrics is all about. So see, super busy day. So <laughs> let's let's just dive in. Um, let's why don't we just start with our stayometrics since uh, that'll be something that we're we'll address right off the bat. You guys, this is just a run through, um, a, a reminder of what stayometrics is all about, and we've we've done this for the last three weeks, no, four weeks now. So we've been doing talking about stayometrics for about four weeks now. What it is is a program, uh, a number of surveys that we do to really gauge where we're at as a company. So it's designed to help um, get a feel for what you guys are needing from us in the, sorry, I didn't realize I didn't have my volume on. What you guys need from us um, in maybe training opportunities or training support, um, maybe it's just one-on-one -on -one support, also for you know what we can make better, maybe an orientation. So there's several different things that we've got going on here. We've, with the survey itself, um, there's actually the survey for um, those who just went through orientation. We've got the survey for those who have been out of orientation for about two weeks. And then we've got uh, the survey for those who've been here over 45 days. So those, each level of those surveys gives us a good feel for where we need to improve according to that, you know, w within those, those metrics, I guess. It's a real short survey. Uh, we do ask that everybody participates in the, their according survey. Um, so it's about five to seven minutes. You're gonna get a text from a 574 number and it really doesn't take very long to go through. But if you can participate in that, if you fulfill that, that's great. Those are, now those um, are not um, confidential. However, um, the annual one is confidential. And this one is actually 
gives us an even better outlook of what we've got here at Decker because this is the long haul. This is what we're doing for those of you who who have been here, who have transitioned through all of that and where we're, our support is, where our support lies and, and where we can benefit you from that. So this is confidential. Um, it is very helpful for us to figure out where we need to improve. If areas, where areas, those type of things. There's always areas you can improve. So it's not necessarily if, but more where we can improve for you guys. And so that's that's what the STEM metrics is about. So every, annually we have, um, and this is our first full year of the stay metrics program but annually we have this this uh, survey that you'll be doing and then we'll have drawings for everybody who participated in the survey and uh, then of course those drawings happen weekly so this week's drawing winners are keith stulen kirby goose and cody hager so those are our drawing winners um and of course, the respected prize is right there. This is, what is this, week four? Week five, I think, of our drawing. I was trying to think of who all has won and, and everything. But um, we will continue to do these drawings for the next several weeks. And I think the last one is actually going to be the very first of November. So uh, last, last week of, of October, first week of November is when we'll announce that. So again, Keith, Kirby, and Cody won the drawings this week for our STAM metrics program. So congratulate them if you would. And, um, and if you haven't already put in your uh, STAM metrics, please do so. They'll email it. Um, you can actually do it on your phone. You can do it on your laptop, your computer, desktop, whatever. You can do it on your tablet. So lots of different ways to get that done. But we'll have basically about 27 drawings all together. We have three a week. And uh, it's either a Walmart, $50 Walmart gift card, $50 Visa gift card, or a $50 gift card to the Decker store. And uh, you can check that out and see what you think. Now, for those of you who know, I was, was going to just bump right over into uh, the referral program and talk a little bit about that. Well, the referral program, um, just kind of talking about this Decker store, you, there's a ton of different shirts that you can get at the Decker store. There are different mugs and water bottles and um, pens and um, you can get, mine is very well used. Yeah, I mean, there's there's all kinds of things, whether they're mouse pads to uh, the little squeezies, uh, all kinds of goodies that you can get um, at the Decker store. There are also um, fleece jackets, uh, Carhartt jackets. Those are really sweet. Uh, and But anyways, there's a lot at that Decker store that you can get. Hey, Jackie, but you cannot buy the Decker referral shirts. You actually have to earn those suckers. So if you are wanting one of the Decker referral shirts, you can actually, here's, you can take a look at it here. But the Decker referral shirt, you, like I said, you can't, you can't buy it, but you can win it. So here's a take, here's a look at it. It's join the team, drive Decker. Um, and anybody who refers somebody within 2019 will be getting one of our Decker our referral t-shirts so if you haven't already checked that out there you have it that's our decker shirt so um again got to win it it's that's the first thing the first that's what you get right off the bat for referring one of a driver to decker um and you know now that i say that i should really show you what we've got let me let me give you an idea of what our referral program, um, not only, see if I can get this in the right direction so you guys can see it. Bear with me. Okay, so not only can you um, get that t-shirt, but there's also several different levels that you can, that you can get. So I'm going to try and show this over here to you. Maybe, 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 maybe left screen that's what I want my left screen <laughs> okay there you go so now you should be able to see um, our maybe what I'm gonna what I'm trying to get you to is drivedecker.com and then backslash driver dash referral this is our um, access to our referral program and all the details that you can can get right here so when once you're on again it's drivedecker.com and it's backslash driver dash referral 
There we go. Now I'm in the right spot. So if you guys can see this, let me know. Um, we're going to just talk a little bit about where the earnings are, you know, what all you can earn because there's a whole lot more than just the monetary and of course more than the t-shirt. So earning money, click on that sucker and you're going to have a pop up that says for every driver you refer, you get $1,500. Well, at least for the first three drivers that you prefer or refer, you'll get, um, you'll get the uh, $1,500. And that pays out within 90 days of hire. So 90 days of hire, you're gonna get $250 after their first dispatch. You'll get $250 after 30 days. You'll get $500 after 60 days. And then you'll get the remaining $500 after 90 days. So it's the uh, first dispatch, 30, 60, 90. And um, again, 250, 250, 500, 500. That's for the first three drivers that you refer. Each one of them is going to pay out for that. Now for, uh, let's see, for drivers four and five, again, we're just talking about the monetary amount at this time, but if you're talking about drivers four and five, then you get $2,000 per driver, it's right there, $2,000 per driver, and that actually is going to pay out, um, again, the two fifty dollars on both the first and first dispatch and 30 days, and then you'll get the $500 after 60 days and $1,000 after 90 days. So again, it goes up another uh, 500 and that's going to pay at that, that 90 day mark. And then it goes up one more time. So the, the last one is $2,500. So if you refer six or more drivers within, let's highlight all that, six or more drivers within 2019, you're going to get an extra $2,500 per driver, six in there on, um, for, for of course, uh, or paid out, excuse me, within the 90 days. So, and you know what I forgot to mention yesterday, if you see this here, it, also, it says that all drivers are referred, or all referred bonuses are paid out within 90 days, but underneath that, do you guys see that? Driver rehire bonus, $400, and again, that pays out in a full after 90 days. So that's gonna pay out all at once, at the 90 day mark, which is pretty cool because honestly, the our rehires back into Decker um, are really qualified applicants. Some maybe they went to go local or maybe they had a family emergency or who, I mean, there could be all kinds of different reasons why somebody were to leave. And then they decided to come back. This is, they wanted to come back home is what I hear all the time actually. So if that's the case, and you are referring, you say you're a buddy, you guys maybe went to orientation together the first time, or you ran for someone else, or maybe you live within the same vicinity, um, and but you guys know each other, and you knew that they used to work here, say, hey, you know, we've got a lot going on here, or why don't you just come back to, to Decker? You get a $400 rehire re bonus paid all at once um, for, that, uh, for that referral. So yeah, awesome, still, still able to get in on that. Now, um, more details on our referral referral bonus. <laughs> Get out of this earn money and go into the incentives. Um, there we go. In the incentives, you get, like I said, the free Decker t-shirt after one hire, but also you get free XM for, um, for a full year, full 12 months if for every, well, after your first two hired in 2000. 2019 so free Sirius radio which is pretty sweet because you know all of our trucks of course come equipped with the Sirius radio and um, it, all the equipment is already there but you're responsible for the subscription unless again you refer to or more drivers now just as a side note if you're not already aware of what all of our company trucks have um, they all have the refrigerator APU inverter bunk heater CB unit, CB unit, navigation, Sirius radio, the equipment, again, the subscription is actually um, up to you unless you do the referrals. Um, however, with the navigation, that's company paid, the, that subscription's company paid. Um, we do have the smart drive system in our truck. So lots of safety features. Uh, the smart drive system does entail both the inward and outward, uh, inward and outward event controllers or cameras and the inward ones can be deactivated after 120 days of safe driving. And then we have um, the lane departure system, and we're in the midst of installing a couple extras. So you already know about it, I'm sure if you're with Decker, you know you're on. If you haven't already, 
you're in the midst of getting those updated. I was just going to look to see our numbers here. Um, the Epic View, which is our satellite TV, it's the combination of actually not only just the TV, but the satellite programming itself. And again, that's Decker paid, that's company paid. So it's over 100 plus channels. It does include Showtime, Cinemax, HBO, and the one that you guys have all been waiting for, <laughs> the Sunday ticket. So I know that's a huge plus for a lot of you guys, especially this time of year. And uh, for all of you who've got um, extras, uh, side, side teens, I guess, um, out there, you guys go ahead and, and watch those. And again, if you're looking for local channels, you can also access that on Epic View. You do need to run a scan every time you get into a, a local area or every time you stop. Run the scan on the TV and it'll pull up your local channels for weather. Now, also you'll be getting the microwaves in all of the trucks. Um, we are about 200 installs in. So we, we're about a quarter of the way through. We still have quite a bit to do, but we hope to get that done um, by sometime in the first, um, <laughs> first semester, uh, the first quarter of next year of 2020. So that's the update on that. And I know I detoured a little bit from the incentives, but I wanted to remind you that all of the equipment in the, for the Sirius Radio is in the trucks. It's just um, uh, getting the subscription. And so you can actually get that subscription with two or more hires uh, with the referral program. So there you have it. And now after three hires, you get a personalized elite team business card which um, now these are super handy. You know that you can use the Transflow app uh, for referring somebody. If somebody stops you, they wanna get a little bit of information from you, uh, ask them, do you want me to have a recruiter call you? And if that's the case, then get their information, their name and telephone number or, or email, and one of the recruiters will give them a holler. You can still give them our number, which is 888-668-0698, and you can see that, where's that at? Right there. There you go. Um, and then they can apply online, drivedecker.com. So as long as they apply, make sure that they let us know that they were referred by somebody. And if they could give us your name, that would be really handy. Truck number is fine too. Um, definitely prefer name. I do, because I mean, I don't really know your truck numbers. So uh, send over your, your name so that I can get those details. But if you use the Transflow app, um, whether you use it within on your phone or um, enter it in on your Qualcomm, you can uh, enter in the, or a Pegasus app, I guess, um, but you can enter in the referral information off of that as well. And then that is sent to all of the recruiters so we are aware of it. We have that information and we can get that entered in to our system as well. So again, the telephone number to the recruiting department is 888-668-0698. And then um, if you just, if you have the business cards or if you get the information through Transflow, fantastic, easy, good. But the um, personalized business cards are for those who refer three or more drivers within uh, 2019. And it makes it so much easier to get more referrals because you, you know, really you're just handing out the information and then they call when they have a moment. So now I didn't highlight that for you, but there it is, personalized referral business cards. And then after three, or excuse me, after five referrals, you get the elite team member jacket, a uh, beautiful jacket for, um, for Decker. And again, you can't buy that, gotta earn it, gotta earn it, that's right. So, um, well, hey, Jesse, good to see you. You made it this morning, huh? <laughs> good, good, glad to see you guys. All right, so um, yes, let's talk about the winner because, oh, I didn't even tell you what the winner is, so there's more prizes. Um, every quarter, we're going to have a drawing, and yesterday was our third, the end of our third quarter, and so we have our third drawing of the year for either a, their choice of a tablet, laptop, or cash prize. So our winner last night, or yesterday, is Steven Decker. So Steven, he chose the um, the $750 cash. So not a bad deal. So that was Steven that, that earned that. Um, now, the next or final one, I guess, for 2019 is going to be on December 31st. So we'll have a New Year's Eve announcement on who won the driver referral days here. 
And then we've got the big grand prize of all of it. Uh, the grand prize is the $2,500 cash or $2,500 cash or the trip to Vegas. So I guess you can actually say trip to Vegas or the equivalent of $2,500 cash. Um, but either one, we've got that uh, for the winner. And you must have at least five referrals in order to qualify for this, um, this grand prize. So lots of bonuses here at Decker. If you're not already aware of that, besides our monthly bonus and our driver of the month bonus, we've got driver of the year bonus and all kinds of goodies. So um, I do want to scroll down here just a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that this, this is our standings. So again, still on drivedecker.com uh, backslash driver dash referral. You can see the number of individuals, um, some of our drivers who have referred uh, this year, which is quite a few, quite a few on there. Um, I think over 85 altogether. And some of these have more than one. Let's scroll down here. So we've got uh, one referral, two referrals, <laughs> but we have to have at least five referrals to win that grand prize of $2,500 or, or uh, of course, the, the trip to Vegas. So Dennis is, is top here in the running and he's referred three so far this year. So again, have fun with that. You guys uh, make a little bit extra cash. It, obviously it can add up pretty quick there for you uh, for the driver referral driver referral bonus so absolutely lots of lots of good stuff there with that um what else i wanted to talk a little bit about uh the tarp tool so let me see if i can transition over to that there for you um let's see see if i can find her our tarping tool is um really what that's all about is we're running a contest and this contest is uh, for, for whoever has the best suggestion for what tarping tool to use. Um, now, we started it last week and it's gonna run through the 29th of November, but we know a lot of our drivers have already created your own personalized tarping tool. Uh, and we're, we're launching the contest because we wanna uh, get a better, we're basically re-examining the design of our tarping tool and we want to make it more efficient and we want to get one out to everybody. So we're in the search for, for really lightweight, easy to use, easy to store, very durable tarping tool. And that's what this is, this is all about. So if you have a tarping tool that you already use or maybe that you've created, then you can go ahead and get that submitted to marketing at deckermail.com. We want to see it. We want to see the example. Uh, we want to see it in action. Um, but even if you just send, send the picture, do a little description, I don't care. But if you show me it in action or show it to us in action, uh, we can get a better feel for how, how durable and, and how easy it is to use. Um, and again, storage is, is important as well as the durability and everything. So. Um, get those submissions in, get into marketing at deckermail.com. Uh, we'll do more about prizes and whatnot later on, but the award or the winner will be awarded on December 2nd, December 2nd. But again, have all of those, all of the submissions in by the 29th of November. All right. What is that? Friday, the 29th. So the day after Thanksgiving, have all your submissions in by then. And then uh, we'll be announcing it on our Monday, our 4 p.m. Facebook Live. You guys, you guys know that we have our Facebook Live every every Monday at 4 p.m. So make sure that you're following us on Facebook as well. If you aren't already, be sure to do so. Um, speaking of, um, I don't know, just thinking of weather and whatnot, um, just as a reminder for, for you, the <laughs> temperature is a little cold outside. Um, I'm just going to, let's see, see if I can get this. If you haven't already checked out our chaining video, you can actually access that on our YouTube channel. Um, but it's our, how to, how to chain really is what that video is. But it's a step-by-step um, -step process. Liam took the time to, to do everything properly uh, indoors, so it's out of inclement weather right now for him. But making sure that you're laying out your chains and that there aren't any broken links, 
Uh, Tanner also recently did a video for our, our bungee storage, and that's kind of what reminded me. But, you know, we have a ton of snow in areas of Montana this weekend, and I know it was only September. The joke was the first day of fall was beautiful, 50 degrees, sunny, gorgeous. Second day of fall was about 10 feet under snow in some areas. Um, well, closer to probably six, but some areas got uh, hit pretty hard up in uh, north central Montana. So that being said, you need to be carrying your chains. Since the 1st of September, you have to be carrying chains and you will continue to carry chains through the 31st of May. If you aren't, get the chains on your truck. The Decker's equipped with all of those. And of course, we have the training and the resources to show you how to do it properly. Uh, the Missoula Terminal is quite used to doing those trainings. And if you aren't already, if you didn't already do it during orientation and you need a, a, a refresher, then either hop online, go to our YouTube channel, click on the, the chaining video so that you can have access to that. And then of course, um, there's other training videos there for you as well, but that one is probably gonna come in pretty handy for you this time of year. You need to know how to chain. Whether or not you're chaining is totally up to you on if you feel safe, um, if you're getting yourself out of trouble, then, then chain. But do not put yourself into trouble just because you, you wanna get down the road a little bit more. So make sure that you are going, you are chaining only to get yourself out of trouble. Yes. Hey, Katie. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So that is uh, just a reminder on the, the chains and, of course, our tarping tool. So make sure that you get those those uh, submissions into marketing at deckermail.com. And, yeah, have fun with it. Should be fun, right? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, now, why don't we just talk a little bit about SmartWay? Now, SmartWay, I mentioned before, we got to have our logo on here. SmartWay is the um, more, it, it was started in 2004 as a way to, um, a program for EPA to clean up the environment, to clean up the air, uh, reduce the emissions and, and everything. And they've made a lot of progress. And by partnering with the SmartWay, uh, the carriers themselves can actually benefit as well. So let's see if I can give you an idea of, let's hop on their website and then you can see it uh, right there in action. So smart way, where are you at? Do, 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 do. Left screen, there we go. There, can you see it? That is our smart way. No, you can't because I haven't showed it to you. There you go. <laughs> Smart way, you can go to epa.gov backslash smart way. Um, and now if you go to their, their programs and success, this is a good, good view for um, what they're all about and everything. But um, smart way, again, it was started back in 2004. And what I like are some of these fun facts on, this, on the side here. When it was launched, it was basically private. Um, 50 companies and organizations started now. There's only, there's over 3,500, 3,700 actually um, that are participating now. And it's, you know, a private private and um, public organization uh, as of right now. So um, between, basically the global trade, they have, uh, when it comes to the supply chain sustainability, um, what they were doing is they're trying to produce um, they're trying to remove some of the adverse impacts on the environment that are created by a lot of uh, basically the transportation industry. Now, obviously our industry is quite huge and growing and actually some of the trends that they, they found, and I'm not sure if it's on this page or not, but some of the trends that they found was that uh, between 1990 and 2013, uh, the freight itself has grown from um, has grown over 50% within the industry. So within the trucking industry, it has grown over 58%. And they expect it to continue to grow um, over 50% by 2040. Um, so it's continually to grow, or they expect it to. And then by 2050, they figure that the freight transport, the emissions, they'll surpass those of passenger vehicles. 
So the whole idea was to remove a lot of that and to address those ch those trends and those really those challenges. Um, and that's what, why the EPA developed the SMART program, or SMART Way program, excuse me, back in 24. 2004, does that make sense? <laughs> um, based, what it does is it tracks, uh, and you can read all about this, there's, there's quite a bit of information here. Um, on their homepage, you can access a lot of that to, to get um, some of the whys and, and hows and you know, how, to, how to be a part of all of that. Um, but what it's done in, since 2004 is it's provided a, a system uh, for tracking and for documenting, uh, really sharing um, some of the information about the fuel use and the, the freight emissions across the supply chains and um, how detrimental or how excessive it has been. And so it's provided that information and with with the use of that information, we can then obviously um, keep track and, and spearhead all of those additional emissions and try to reduce it and then trying to find ways to reduce it together. And by partnering with them, um, not only not only the, the group themselves, the small group of partnering with them, but you have a larger group, a larger support group. And, and the bigger it gets and the more that we get the smart way system out and, and um, standard within the industry, the fewer emissions that we are going to be seeing and of course the cleaner air that we'll, we'll have, we'll be providing as well, which will be obviously fantastic because if we're going to continue to grow this way, we need to make sure that we are, are cleaning up the air and, and um, being more efficient all the way around. So it's, it's going to help, or what SmartWay really does is it, it helps the companies uh, identify or you know, find more efficient uh, carriers like us, like Decker, um, a different transport modes, maybe different equipment, and um, you know, maybe some even even sometimes with the strategies, the operational strategies that we use. Um, to to improve the supply chain uh, s sustainability. So, and a lot of it is maybe relocating distribution centers, which has definitely helped. But, and by relocating some of the distribution centers, it's cut down on some of the emission costs. It's cut down on some of the, um, some of the extra, the miles or, or whatever that we've got in, in some of the, out there because of the numbers that we've got. So yeah, there's, there's a whole lot about the SmartWay system. Um, again, if you take a look at the website and you go to, I believe there is the successes. Um, and then if you go into the successes area, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in here. Um, you can actually see how some of the partners, we've got the high performer stats on it. And I'm pretty sure somewhere in here, um, you can find out a little bit more about the high performers for the smart drive system or smart way system, excuse me. Um, there's different categories. I really got to find this for you guys. Um, but there are different categories for it. Um, by, in the, by participating, you've got the high performer criteria. Of course, whether you're a truck carrier, um, the fleets themselves, they're, they're based off of all the metrics. They're based off of um, carbon metrics, some of the DRAF carrier fleets, they're going to be uh, qualified different than the shippers and the logistics providers. So there's quite a bit of information here. And then of course the, the top, um, those who have, who have earned the high performer status, of course, will get recognized um, at a completely different level. But again, here it is. EPA SmartWay Transport Partnership helps companies and organizations achieve their freight supply chain sustainability goals by providing credible tools, data, and standards at no cost for measuring, benchmarking, and improving environmental standards. Um, does definitely has helped out. And really what's impressive is once you start getting some of the numbers from, um, or the stats, I guess, from some of these uh, these data tools that they provide, uh, that's where, you, I mean, it can just really blow you away. So since 2004, when this all started, um, the, I'm, I'm going to actually give you numbers from June that I have, and then I'll give you numbers from now, and you can even see the, the difference on the growth. 248, just shy of 249 
million barrels of oil have been eliminated, you know, really for the equivalent of 16 million homes uh, using, uh, using that amount of oil. That's how much oil has been, um, has been eliminated within the industry because of the SmartWay system. So I think that's super impressive, 248.8 million. But what's even more impressive, that was as of June. As of now, September, the end of September, I guess, um, beginning of October, it is 280 million. That's how much it went went up, went down, I guess. Um, but that's how much it has gone down is an extra, almost an extra 30 million um, barrels of oil. So um, fascinating, fascinating information, I believe. Uh, did I miss a comment here? Sorry about that. Bobson, hi everyone, out of Orlando, Florida. Well, happy Tuesday to you. Thanks for hopping on. Yeah, again, if you guys have any questions whatsoever or is any input on maybe some of the, the benefits that you see out of the Smart Drive system, please share it in the comments. We'd love to hear it. We'd love to see it and read it. Um, and maybe you can give us some insight on how you've seen it improve. It is everything as well. Um, if you're going to look at that cost, uh, what, what's significant for the carriers and the fuel costs has, uh, I mean, that, il that alone is, is significant. So 33 million, it's 33.4, um, not million, excuse me, 33.4 billion dollars have been saved in fuel costs from 2004 to June of this year. 33.4 billion dollars. Now, again, showing you a little bit of just mind-blowing information. So that's since 2004. June of June of this year, it was 33.4. Now it's 37 billion. 37 billion. So basically, it's got up. It's gone up four billion just within those few months. Isn't that mind blowing? And that's just the cost that it has saved the partners. And again, there's over 3,700 partners, but th that number is billions. So make sure that you're. Um, you know, aware of this information and, and being a SmartWay partner is so important because it's really there about um, providing the cleaner air for all of us. I mean, we're all breathing it, we're all using it. So, you know, what? let's take care of what we have, just like everything else in, in life, right? Um, speaking of, of clean air, 119 million tons of air pollutants have been cleaned up. 119, I, that I don't know how you measure, but they've got all the stats for that. Um, but 119 million tons. Again, that's as of June, as of as of uh, the end of September, which is I actually picked up the information yesterday. It was 134 million tons. Crazy, 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 crazy. So yes, that's that's the, our smart way system, and all all of those details. Just fascinating. I'm going to show you this. Um, See if I can find it back on where I was at earlier. Do, 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 do. Oh, what was it under successes? I think it might have been. Um, but yeah, by by being part of the smart way, um, smart way partners or multimodal partners, you you're you're directly contributed to the savings of the of employing the best practices, and those are going to be the driver trainings. Um, reducing idle reduction, all those things that um, are smart way, um, not only smart way consistent, you know, to improve, but our smart drive system, which is, and I know I said it different, this one I actually meant the smart drive system, which are the units within our truck, uh, some of the safety features that are, are equipped in our truck, um, it helps to improve our idle time and fuel efficiency and whatnot. So there's, uh, there's a lot of gauges on there that uh, help to read driver habits. And really with the smart way system and the smart drive system working together, we can improve uh, speed management, uh, route optimization, fuel efficiency. All those things are working together both with the smart way and the smart drive. That smart drive is helping us to, um, not to teach us here in house and to guide you out on the road where these improvements and how, how where these improvements are or need to be and how you can get there. 
So again, quite impressive and good teamwork on the, the two uh, individual forces there. So, yep, quite a bit, quite a bit of, of information there for you. Um, also, protecting the health of Americans. We talked about the air pollutants and how amazing. It's 134, let's see if I can highlight that for you, 134 tons of air pollutants that were um, reduced or emitted. So the Smartway Logistics and Shipper Partners now, um, they ship more freight with Smartway registered carriers and incentives, and they're, they're improving the emissions as well. Um, and again, their strategies are, are a little bit different than the, uh, the carriers, um, but they're more um, trying to focus on the packaging of the lighter dunnage, the, the cube optimization, their focus is a little bit different in order to um, create better performance and efficiency within the, in the supply chain. So again, the focus is different depending on how that partner is. And different partners are going to be like the partners with the uh, multimodal, uh, the, the shippers and the logistics partners. Those are, and I talked about the distribution centers being, um, being moved or um, put in different locations to improve it as well. Um, and then you've got other SmartWave partners because all SmartWave partners are going to be have the, the monitoring tools. They'll be able to measure, be able to track um, their, their operational and their environmental um, and energy efficiency of their, their trucks, their equipment, um, the, each load that they'll be doing. So it's, it's just, it's all about creating a leaner supply chain, the, the whole logistics, the whole transportation industry there. So, quite awesome. So we continue to see improvements on that um, and we'll, we'll continue to see them on through 20, 2040, 2050. Um, like I said, they, they are definitely see that the trend will continue within the industry um, as we not only create a larger awareness about smart way and how it can improve the emissions, but also um, get more and more people involved, more and more companies involved in SmartWay, and um, we'll continue to succeed with it. So yeah, and again, the, the core elements for the transport, the um, transport partnership is gonna be between freight shippers, uh, carriers, logistic companies, um, other stakeholders in partners within the EPA and it's the EPA that does the the measuring the benchmarking to help improve those logistics those logistic operations so it really this smart way system is all under the EPA umbrella in, and it's going to measure our environmental footprint so it's all so anybody have any questions on that or what the smart way system is and any suggestions <laughs> well I do want to mention too um, speaking of suggestions and comments and whatnot uh, another topic that's been brought up quite a bit uh, here recently is when I'm getting asked about the hours of service rules um, being told that the hours of service have changed um, they haven't changed so for just just a heads up or not necessarily a heads up but just as a reminder to those of you who are out on the road, the hours of service have not changed. They are still what they were. However, there's a new proposal and the proposal of the changes in, within the proposal um, can allow a driver to, to pause their 14 hour on duty clock for up to another three hours or to extend the split sleeper berth option. So there's, there's one proposal there uh, the flexibility around the 30 minute break and allowing drivers to extend to a 13 hour on duty window, especially in adverse conditions. And you know, the, the weather this, this last week is a, or the last week, I guess, in um, Montana is a good example of that. Um, and then we've got the other proposal is to expand the on duty period for the short haul drivers from 14, or excuse me, from 12 to 14 hours um, for the um, short haul drivers, I should say, and then extend the short 
haul radius from 100 to 150 air miles. So that's the proposal. And what FMCSA has done is they've actually extended it an additional 14 days. So um, and what that means when I'm talking about them extending an additional 14 days, I'm talking about um, extending the, the comments. Um, they're accepting comments on the hours of service. It's obviously been a, a huge discussion and more and more people are, are want, they're wanting more and more people to get involved in it and get, um, have a say. So in order to submit your comment and to be part of that conversation, you actually need to go to um, regulations, right? Regulations.gov, I believe is what it is. Um, regulations.gov, let me see if I can find that. I've got a slide here for you that, there you go. Regulations.gov. So if you go to that, you can actually submit your comments. And you have until the 14th or the, the 21st of October, which is actually 14 days longer than originally. But um, yeah, that's they'll receive uh, comments on that. And again, what it is, is it's going to allow drivers to, um, what the discussion is, what, what's up for the proposal itself is, um, is having an additional 14 um, or to be able to uh, pause their 14 hours for their on-duty clock uh, for up to three hours, three additional hours, and to extend the split sleeper berth option uh, for flexibility around the 30 minute break and allowing drivers to extend from a 13 hour on-duty window to uh, for, for like adverse weather, for um, poor weather, acclimate weather, and then of course extending the on duty for the short haul drivers from 12 to 14 hours and the air miles from 100 to 150 for the short haul drivers. So those are the, um, the proposed changes within the hours of service. So, uh, feel free to put in your comments. Again, you can put them in at regulations.gov um, and you can see some of the other comments there as well. Um, access that, so regulations dot gov but yeah it's it has not changed um, for those of you who thought it did it it has not changed yet and I just want to make sure that you guys were all up to date on that and knew that it that it hadn't now I do have some information I was asked last week about an update on our break safety week just so a, a recap for that we had um, we had really we had discussed our, obviously the break safety week was from the 15th through the 21st of September and we had discussed try, making sure that you're ready to get clean inspections obviously you get a bonus here at Decker for a clean inspection um, and we wanted to see uh, minimal violations uh, equipment violations we shouldn't you know we we figured uh, we really shouldn't see any of those because of shop is maintaining it you're doing a full um, thorough uh, walk through and pre-trip every day and um, obviously by doing so we're going to see a reduced number of, of violations. Now with the number what I didn't ask what I failed to ask was how many people were actually um, brought in for uh, the inspections. I know we had several we had at least 13 free and uh, violation three inspections um, and we were still getting the numbers in by the time that I that I gathered this information. We'll still continue to get some of those numbers in. Now we did a have a couple of violations. Um, so make sure, so I, I do want to make sure that we remind everybody um, speed limits, they're for a reason. Please, you need to abide by the speed. Only had, we did have one of those. Um, we also had one with the fire extinguisher, making sure that that is secured. So we want to make sure that the fire extinguisher is secured. That is a full six points, so that, that is important. Um, we did have one a break leak that we needed to attend to, so we were able to take care of that. That was a big point for us as well, a big full 12 points. Um, but we did have one of those. Everything else was looking pretty good. Um, but again, we did have, we, we probably will still be getting some of those um, inspection reports coming in, but uh, those are the two that I noticed right away. Making sure that you're checking all of your brakes. This continues, this is, go, beef, this is beyond just the um, brake safety week. We wanna make sure that this is 
that we're constantly checking this. Every time we do a pre-trip, we want to make sure that we're checking for leaks and check, checking for uh, rubs or cracks or wear on all of the the tubes and um, uh, you know any of the connections really. So make sure that you you're doing that proper pre-trip. And if you haven't already checked out our blog, if you go to drivedecker.com and go on to our blog, you'll actually see um, some of the details there on uh, pre-trip or uh, the pre-trip pre-trip checklist that you can access. And the DVIR that is in part of our ELD systems gives you a lot of abbreviations here, <laughs> but on our electronic logs or Omnitrax ELD, there's a DVIR that uh, will help you stay consistent with your pre-trip every time and uh, make sure that you're not missing anything. And of course, by not missing anything, you're going to stay, uh, have a better CSA score, which is a part of our, our monthly bonus that can be uh, calculated in there for you. So that could mean an extra four cents a mile for a company driver or an extra uh, three cents a mile for an owner operator at least purchase possibly. So that's, that's something to remember. Um, so please use your, do your, your full pre-trip, make sure that you're thorough with it. If you need the checklist, go to our website and download that, um, access that. You can also get it through your ELD. Okay. Awesome. So I want to thank Lisa for giving me those numbers and giving me an update on that safety, break safety week recap. Um, okay. So that's that. Let's talk about the, wait a minute. I was trying to think. I... Did I give all the the awards away? I think I did. Okay. Whew. I got nervous now. I couldn't remember if I had. But we did announce Steven and then we announced uh, Kirby and them on the Kirby and Keith and, and whatnot on a little bit earlier for the stay metrics. Okay. I was a little worried there for a minute. <laughs> We're good. Let's talk about some of the different positions that we have available. Uh, I do want to let you know that we've got our Midwest van positions. Uh, we have nine of those positions available right now. Uh, it, if you don't have experience in van, um, or if you're new to the trucking industry and are a recent um, over the road tractor trailer graduate with uh, over 160 hours of uh, course, course time, then we do train in the refrigerated and the van position. So, um, more details on that, you can get a hold of one of the recruiters. It's 888-668-0698. Uh, but just as a reminder, we do offer training in refrigerated and, and van. I should say new driver training because we do offer securement and tarp training for flatbed if you've been driving over the road but don't yet have flatbed experience. We do offer that type of training as well. Um, but when it comes to uh, recent graduates, we don't ha currently hire recent graduates in our flatbed divisions. We require three months for our Midwest flatbed, and we require six months for our over-the-road, our coast-to-coast -coast flatbed. But um, again, van and refrigerated, we do. Now, van, the van position that I was referring to, we hire anywhere from Omaha, or actually Lincoln, Nebraska, to Chicago, Gary, Indiana, uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. We can get you home on a weekly basis in that area. Um, so a lot of I-80 I there. We also hire um, for every two weeks out, or about two two weeks out, I should say, um, down in Athens or, or Hartwell, Georgia, um, Atlanta, Georgia, in Anderson, South Carolina. So we have flatbed positions out of there too. Altogether, we have nine different, oh, I, let me rephrase that. We have van positions out of that area too. But altogether, we have nine positions available for that dry van position. And it's semi-dedicated. So you're hauling, you're, you're gonna haul a lot of the same stuff because you'll, your initial haul will be dry pet supplies. So it'll be pet supplies. And then your back hauls could be, you know, anything. It'd be a variety of things really. Um, but those, that's how that runs. And it, and it pays anywhere from, for an experienced driver, um, 40 to 50 cents a mile. Um, the 40 is more for someone who's, who is a student and then you're gonna work your way up uh, to 44 by the end of the first year but 50 cents a mile for experienced drivers as well. You do get a penny raise after after 90 days. You'll get a penny raise every year on your anniversary. Uh, the cap right now is 54 cents a mile. And um, for an update on our West runs, a uh, couple, couple updates there. We do hire, um, we have like, like 
not local, but more weekly regional type positions in um, Missoula, Montana, Seattle, Washington, Kennewick, Washington, and um, Los Angeles, California. So those are weekly positions. I'm talking too much. Just kidding. We can get you home weekly there, but it is refrigerated. And again, we can train. That one's going to run anywhere for a student at 38 cents a mile up to um, 48 cents a mile for an experienced driver. So we do have some opportunities for you there as well. 10 cents of that's going to be per diem. 10 cents of our pay is per diem. So company-wide. Um, and, and the penny raise is after 90 days. It's not going to include per diem. The penny raise is um, taxed. And then the, there's going to be a penny raise every year on your anniversary. Now in this division, it's 52 cents that is capped out at. And of course, for this division, you also get short haul pay as well as for the Midwest division. But the short haul pay is going to be a little bit different because the Midwest refrigerated division, we calculate the short haul, the shorter hauls in um, more on our Midwest division because you're comparing a four to 600 average length of haul to uh, over 1100 length of haul in the over the road based out of Missoula. So that's why the uh, discrepancy in the pay if you're wondering about the why why one is two cents more than the other that's why um, so it will pay up to 27 cents in short haul pay in the over the road refrigerated division versus up to 20 cents uh, 25 cents a mile in the flatbed or flatbed in the Midwest refrigerated so that that's a little bit different there speaking of flatbed um, in the West if you live in Oregon Washington and California, um, and the Las Vegas area actually, and, and Nevada. If you live in those areas, we can offer flatbed to you, but it's gonna be at least four weeks out. So you're gonna be part of our Bessemer, Alabama terminal at, at least four weeks out at a time. And then um, it's a lot of coast to coast, a lot of Midwest and a lot of Southeast. Uh, you probably run more of the West um, being based out of here than some of the other, uh, some of the other drivers in, you know, Texas and maybe uh, the Carolinas would, but um, it, it's still about four weeks out. And that pay is going to be based off experience. Remember, we do require at least six months of experience for that position. And it's going to be anywhere from 47 to 54 cents a mile. And again, 10 cents of that's per diem. But we can offer it, but you have to be out at least four weeks. So it is, it isn't um, home as often as some of our other positions. Now in flatbed, if you live in Alabama or if you live in Georgia, we can do weekly home time. So it really just depends. Um, obviously our hiring areas depend more on, on where our freight is. And of course, home time is going to be um, higher or more often in uh, uh, where our freight, our freight is heavier. So Alabama and Georgia, weekly home time option. Uh, we have a Midwest or a Midwest flatbed, we have weekly home time options as well, uh, especially if you live anywhere from, um, well, our guaranteed pay for a Midwest flatbed, which can get you home weekly, is anywhere from Mason City, Iowa to Fort Dodge, Iowa, up to Chicago, up to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, back down to Mason City. Anything along that route is gonna get you home on a weekly basis, plus you'll get um, the 1350 guaranteed pay so $1,350 for the guaranteed pay and of course you can make more than that we're all we're fine with that but that is going to be uh, the guaranteed pay on that and then we have guaranteed pay on our short haul position too so if you live in Sioux Falls uh, we could probably get you home about three times a week uh, Sioux Falls South Dakota um, but Omaha uh, Fort Dodge we can get you home a little bit more often in those areas too if you live in or close to um, uh, Fort Dodge, Iowa, give us a call. We have a couple of different positions available for you that might um, be more local even than just our, our hopper position. So we do have a hopper position that'll get you home, that'll get you home daily. It is, it's two days on and two days off, and then it's three days on and three days off. So it continually rotates, which means every other weekend is off. And um, for that hopper position, it pays $2.50 for this 11 p.m. shift. It pays $2.50 for the Monday through Friday loads and then, or Monday through Friday shifts. And then the Saturday and Sunday shifts, which again is going to be every other Saturday and Sunday, 
that is uh, 275 per shift. So again, if you have any more, if you have questions on any of these positions that I'm talking about, don't hesitate to call one of our recruiters. You can reach us at 888-668-0698 and we'll give you all the details. But uh, again, I just wanted to remind you of a couple of these different positions. Our guaranteed pay refrigerated, also really common for us, for our uh, drivers on that division or within those divisions to get beyond the guaranteed pay, which is 1250 for the refrigerated. Uh, if you live from Albert Lee to Chicago on I-90, or if you live um, from Omaha, Nebraska to Chicago on I-80, then you're within the hiring area, area for the Midwest refrigerated guaranteed pay. Plus, if you live in Kansas City, that is a really good area for freight. So again, it's 888, where's my number? 888-668-0698 for details on that. So, and then of course, we've got lease purchase and we've got teams. Uh, you do need to call us for those locations because it you know, really just matters where you're at on whether or not you'd be available for that. Um, anybody have questions so far on those positions that we've got available? If not, that's all right. I wanna remind you, and I know I've been taking up your time here, we're at an hour here. Uh, I do wanna remind you that uh, you can contact the recruiter at 888-668-0698. Uh, you can also apply online at drivedecker.com. If you want more information on our referral bonus, then go to driver, actually drivedecker.com backslash driver dash referral. It has been a quiet day, Tanya, I agree. But you can also um, get more information at Drive Decker as well. Every Tuesday here on our YouTube channel, we do a live Q&A opportunity. We give you updates on what's going on here at Decker. Um, but this is a chance really for you to ask questions. So yes, I'll go over some of those details on what's going on here at Decker. But the main opportunity here, I mean, is just if you've got the questions, others are probably too. So please ask away. That's why we do this for you. Um, and of course, please do it while you're not driving. This is something that you're doing on your downtime. Uh, and make sure that you're subscribing to our YouTube channel. Because again, every Tuesday at 11 Montana time, noon central, we'll go live and we'll offer this opportunity. But every Monday at 4 p.m. Uh, central time, every Monday at 4 p.m. central time, we're actually on our Facebook channel and we'll go live there. Same type of thing, give you the opportunity to ask questions and uh, update you with everything that's going on here at Decker. But um, yeah, make sure you follow us and of course subscribe. If you guys have any questions for the recruiters, they're available at 888-668-0698. You can also contact us on our Facebook channel. You, know, you can private message us there. We can get to answering your questions as well. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. It is sunny here, which is fantastic after a very blundery uh, winter weekend. And uh, I know it's fall, but it was a wintry weekend. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our Facebook as well. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks so much, you guys.